Okay, so we've created a record type for renewals and we have associated a different page layout for each opportunity type. Now we're gonna go in and set the framework for uh, automation around renewal creation. Uh, and we're also going to create a couple lookup fields so that we can relate renewals to one another. Uh, the way it will work is essentially when sales closes an opportunity, it will automatically generate a renewal and that renewal will be related to the opportunity that created it. The opportunity that created it will also be related to the renewal. Essentially it just creates a, a chain of contracts uh, that you can trace back to the original sales booking. So in order to do this, we have to go into setup and we have to go to object manager. We have to go to opportunity and we're gonna make some fields. We're gonna go Look up related to opportunity. It will be called renewed by, and this is going to reference the second or the following renewal. So of the record that you're on. So this will reference the renewal that is upcoming. Visible. We're going to add it to both layouts and then we're going to make a new and it's also going to be another lookup. We're going to relate it to opportunity. It will be called renewal of and this will reference the previous renewal that just happened. Now let's go ahead and adjust the page layout. So I will create a new section. I will call it renewal and we will save it. Oh, and we will add that field into the section renewed by renewal of because this is the sales opportunity we actually don't need renewal of because it's impossible for a sales opportunity to be a renewal of another opportunity because it is always the first one that starts then for this renewal record type we're going to add a new section as well we'll call it renewals and we will have renewed renewal of that's the one that this contract proceeded and then the one that is following this opportunity will be renewed by. Now, let's go back. Let's refresh by logging out and logging back in. So now we have this section here, renewed by, and if this was a renewal, we would have renewal of and renewed by. So what we're gonna do now is create a automation which will generate a renewal opportunity for this opportunity exactly one year later. So I'm gonna change the close date to be equal to today here, and we're gonna go ahead and create a renewal opportunity. So in order to do that, we must go to automation and we're going to make a new flow a record triggered flow and it's going to be on the opportunity when a record is updated conditions are met and it will be when stage name equals closed one and we want it to happen when the record is updated to meet the conditions which means if it wasn't closed one and then it is saved as closed one it will trigger the flow actions and related records so that's what we want now let's go ahead and add a 
section which is going to be called create records we'll call this create renewal opportunity it will be manually created through the opportunity object and we are going to call it we're going to add in these fields here close date name stage name we're also going to want renewed renewal of and this will essentially just populate some of these fields here so we're going to go ahead and add a close date which is going to be one year from the close date of the original opportunity so to do this we would go into the here and create a new resource it's going to have to be a formula we'll call it one one year from close date it's going to be a date and we will put in the record close date field plus one year which I just have to remember how to do this so we're going to use this formula I just got from ChatGPT and the way this works is it is taking the year of the close date and it's adding one so 2024 is going to become 2025 the month is going to be the same as the close date and the day is going to be the same as the close date now you may want to make some adjustments for this if you want to cover all edge cases but we'll just use this for now and we will go ahead and save it the name we're going to create another resource and it will be another formula we're going to call it renewal name and we will just make a text formula so the resource we're going to use is the account name and then we're just going to add plus renewal plus renewal so we'll go ahead and use that the stage name is going to be value proposition because we remove these from the sales process of renewals and the renewal of field is going to be referencing the opportunity that started the flow so we will just reference the opportunity ID here and that's it for this stage so we'll save it as renewal flow uh, we'll call it renewal creation and closed one save it now there's one more stage I'd like to add, which is update triggering record. So we're going to update the original opportunity. And we're going to use the opportunity record that triggered the flow. And we're going to update renewed by to equal the opportunity ID from create renewal opportunity. And we're going to save that. And that's going to update the relation that we created. I'm going to activate this. And now, if we go back to customer success and if we go to that opportunity we were looking at when I go ahead and close win this it will automatically generate a renewal so this is going to be closed one now you'll see app vantage renewal has been created and if we go click on it we're going to see that that opportunity has been created. Um, it looks like there's a few things that we missed, so let's go back and edit those. So we're going to want to have to update account name, type, and amount, and also record type. So let's go ahead and edit this. So we can go back here, click Edit Element. We're going to add a few fields, so record type, ID, we're going to want to add uh, type, which is just going to be, uh, well, there's not really good options here, but I'll just put this for now. Then we'll add amount, which we'll just set to whatever the original amount was. So we could reference the record that started the flow. Um, <laughs> 
Okay, so let's do this. So I want to change the record type, and in order to do this, I need to get the record type ID. So to get that, you have to go to Setup, Object Manager, Opportunity, Fields and Relationships, or sorry, Record Types. You just click on Renewal, and you can get the ID from the URL here. So if we go back to that flow, we're just gonna add that in here, and then we're going to save it. We're going to activate this, and let's re-trigger that. So I'm gonna delete this renewal, and we can go back to this one. So now we're going to re-trigger the flow by marking this as closed one and see what happens. So this is now closed one, and we can check out the renewal. Okay, so now we have a amount, we have type, we have renewal of referencing the previous, and so on and so forth. I've forgotten one thing, which is to reference the account as well. So let's go back and edit it. We gotta add one more field. We're gonna call this account ID, and it's just going to be equal to account or re uh, record account ID, which means it'll be related to the same account as the one that triggered this. So we'll save that. We're going to activate it. And now when it gets created, it will automatically relate it to the correct account. Um, so your renewal should look something like this. And you can now toggle back and forth. This is the original renewal that, or the original opportunity that generated the renewal on closed one. And then this is the actual renewal that is now closing August 13th, 2025. So one year from now. So anytime sales closes a deal, you will have an opportunity created one year later uh, that you can have your CS team manage. Um, and this is how I recommend doing it uh, in the simplest format. This can get much more complicated when we add in fields uh, related to contracts and including start dates and end dates and term and all that. Uh, but I just want to show you a simple flow to automatically generate a renewal um, so that you can start creating them a year later on your annual contracts. So I will leave it at that and we will get into more details in the next video.